time has come. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in today's video, I'm gonna be finally unboxing my 11 inch giant Mecha Godzilla Playmates toy figure. I couldn't find any of these figures at my local Walmart, so I just decided to buy this off of eBay. A lot of you guys were telling me that I'm gonna definitely enjoy unboxing this figure because of the detail and just how good it was for a Playmates toy figure. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and unbox this figure. All right, so I just got done unboxing this Mechagodzilla figure, and yeah, you guys were not kidding. Like, oh my God, yeah, for a Playmates toy figure, like, yeah, this actually does look really good. I actually fuck with it. And the fact that it's really shiny too, oh my God. So here's a closer look at the figure, and yeah, as you guys can see, like, yeah, it looks really good. Like, you know, I'm turning it into 360. I just like how, you know, the, the metal armor is just shiny, and the dorsal fins look pretty good. Yeah. Here's the tail that it comes with, so I'm about to go ahead and put that on right now. It doesn't seem that difficult, but let's hope for the best. All right, here we go. I really hope it ain't difficult. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was fucking easy. Okay. Well, ha! Yeah, here it is. Look at it. So here's what the 11 inch Mecha Godzilla toy figure looks like for playmates. And for the most part, he's only really movable, you know, around his claws, his arms, and you can try his legs, but that's the best it'll really do. And, you know, the back of his tail is pretty movable as well, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can do as a Playmates toy figure. I know that a couple of you guys have been telling me that there's also a SH Monster Arts toy figure for this Mecha Godzilla, so if that's the case, I'm gonna most likely end up getting that more towards the summer, so for the meantime, I'm gonna definitely enjoy this one because overall, like, yeah, the figure itself does look pretty clean and you know, Mechagodzilla with those red dorsal fins and how shiny just reflects and everything, it's just perfect. This 11 inch Mechagodzilla toy figure is also my second biggest toy figure in my collection. And now that I got this new Mechagodzilla toy figure, this makes number 14 in total out of all of them on display on my drawer. It's also unfortunate too because I don't really have that much more room left on my drawer, so... I'm busy like, you know, reorganizing my room and trying to figure out where to like keep them at and all that stuff. So I might end up getting the shelf one day, but for the time being, I'm gonna just keep it right here for now. For those out there that are still having a hard time trying to find this figure at any Walmart location, I definitely recommend checking out either eBay or Amazon. Prices might vary though, depending on where you're at, because for me, I just got super lucky enough to get this last one in stock from eBay for just about $25. And right before I was about to unbox this figure, guess what showed up? The Art of Godzilla vs. Kong. I'll definitely be doing a review for that as well, so be on the lookout for that. And the hunt for these figures will still continue. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys are new to this channel, please smash the like button, comment, subscribe, and turn that bell. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace.